Welcome to Auto Tech Channel, guys. In this video, we're going to do a test drive of uh, all new Hyundai i20. i20 actually comes with a three engine option. Two is a petrol engine. One is a naturally aspirated engine, and one more is a turbocharged engine, and one is a diesel engine. The diesel engine right now we are driving. First thing what we notice is the refinement of this engine after the BS6 norms kickins. So the refinement of the engine, diesel engine has been very great. As well as barely you cannot hear anything inside the cabin. Even you shift from uh, fifth gear to actually third gear. Even in the higher RPMs, you cannot hear the engine noise so much. That is really nice thing to have a diesel engine with a very less noise because the diesel engine motor loves to drive long. That way, Honda has helps them provided a quiet engine in a hatchback segment. Next, we do acceleration test. Just acceleration test we started from uh, zero and it way all the way up to 70 kilometers because of the road rules. Quite evident that the engine pulling power is so great at the lower RPMs. In my point of view, the in gear acceleration is so good, so it will be very useful in the highways to take a quick overtake without shifting uh, down or shifting up the gears. Let's do a small brake test. Right now, the vehicle is going around 60 km per hour, just hard into the brakes. The vehicle stops completely, it's uh, quite easy. There is no uh, such nose diving or any, any other things. Because it comes with ABS with ABD, uh, front it provides a disc brake and the rear it has a drum brake. Even in the Asta O top model, they provided ESS uh, emergency stop signal. It just uh, gives a blink if you hold into the brakes. So it will be very useful in the highways. Okay, talking about the ergonomics of this vehicle, ORVM provides a good visibility at the backside and also IRVM is missing out the auto dimming rear view function. It is only a manual dimming. The people who don't want uh, auto dimming, you can choose this. And also this vehicle provides a rear view monitoring all the way. So you no need to worry about uh, this. Air conditioner works superb and also clutch is not uh, too heavy. Gear indicators are placed very low. The center armrest is very useful to sit so relax. The seating offers a good cushioning. Button placement on the center consoles are so easier to reach. Let's do quickly a uh, U-turn. The steering actually very light to do a U-turn. Centered position is quite okay. Actually steering is direct but the feel and feedback is slightly missing. At lower speeds no issue about the feedbacks. So, horn sounds good. I like the way it sounds. Let's come to suspension part. Actually the suspension is uh, not so stiff as well as uh, not so soft. Actually previous i20 owners are feeling that the suspension is too soft. For higher speeds, they will feel a bumpy ride. But here, what I felt is actually for the smaller uh, potholes and uh, patches, you will not feel that much uh, sound entering into the cabin. If it is a uh, bigger potholes or bigger broken roads, definitely you will feel the sound inside the cabin because it has been tuned in such a way. Already we know that the I20 uh, 2020 is a 5 mm ground clearance lesser than the previous i20 previous i20 is a 170 mm this 5 mm lesser they managed to get a stiffer suspension a little bit so in the way it helps actually even even in the very higher bumps it won't uh, that much of uh, bump over there even i felt uh, one thing uh, the higher speed also it felt so stable and this is a diesel engine the pulling power of the diesel engine is so great at uh, third gear or fourth gear fifth gear any gear you was you want to overtake you can quickly overtake do a overtake without uh, shifting your gears that is how it uh, offers a power to the vehicle take a look at these bumps these bumps are uh, very small even though the ride has been uh, quite okay because it uh, not uh, shuffles after the bump so it is very planted actually it uses a uh, macpherson strut at the front here it is a coupled torsion beam axle. Suspension shocker is a gas type. Compared to the old ride 20, there is definitely a hike in the ride. Final topic is the spacing of the vehicle. The spacing of the vehicle is quite okay and the rear seat spacing is uh, improved and also it's bigger than the venue. Overall dimension wise vehicle has been improved from the older generation. The ground clearance only reduced from 170 to 165 mm. Even though the ground clearance is 165 mm, it is not the issue. It actually helps to ride better. At lower speeds, you will not feel any body roll on the vehicle. It actually comes with the four variant Magna, Sports, and Asta. Asta OHO. 
right now we are driving is asta o actually the diesel offers only in asta o asta no diesel off on it totally three variant on offer in diesel that was magna and uh, sports asta o if you want to take a imt in turbo petrol engine there is no asta o option only it available in sports and asta for the dct asta and asta o is available for the 5 speed 1.2 liter naturally aspirated engine it uh, all the way across the four variant the base model price is starting from 6.79 lakh ex showroom and also in the base variant the provided uh, like uh, rear ac vent usb charger cool glow box and the fog lamp are fitted as a standard definitely going to get value for money the top model asta o is completely a future loaded vehicle it is actually a next generation hyundai is working hard on it to improve the uh, quality of the vehicle the quality of the vehicle is quite good uh, those thirds are uh, actually uh, looks promising if you like this video please share and subscribe auto tech channel and give a thumbs up and subscribe to auto tech channel for future videos thanks for watching this video